VP Osiban John meets Obasanjo ahead of high level dialogue. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. The vice president is to declare open a program tagged West Africa, rising to the challenge of consolidating democratic governance. Vice President Yemi Osibanjan Governor Dakpo Abiodun of Ogo State are currently meeting former President Olushego Basanjo at his parents' house in Olushego Basanjo Presidential Library, OOPL, in Abiokuta, Ogo State. Mr. Osibanjo's stop landed in the OOPL premises and he was welcomed by Mr. Abiodun. Afterwards, they headed to the library where Mr. Basanjo and security officials received them. Premium Times learned that part of the reasons of Mr. Osibanjo's visit is to declare, a pro, declare open a program tag, West Africa rising to the challenge of consolidating democratic governance. The program was said to have been organized by the Coalition for Dialogue on Africa, CODA. Well, <laughs> the program, Coabulating. And the passenger, he's going to visit the passenger. Well, uh, well, we, do, we, we don't have enough information. But you see, any visit to a godfather, you know, somebody who is capable of pulling a political weight, especially a former president. Uh, uh -huh. Well, let's keep our fingers crossed. Now, is it not surprising that amid the happenings in the north? West, East, and Central. I tell you, if you, if you have forgotten, let me remind you that um, the recent update in Kaduna is that they actually, actually invaded Kaduna Airport bandit. Like bandit invaded Kaduna Na International Airport. Like Kaduna International Airport. Like how? And you know, in all of us, whether or not the presidency or the administration body language is nonchalant, lackadaisical, they don't care. Now, I'm, 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 I'm trying to, I'm trying to figure, I'm sorry it's not part of the news, but I cannot help, I cannot help, instead of them, instead of, you know, we to have the presidency coming out to say, you know what, this thing happened in Kaduna, or that one happened in KB State, or let us come together. Instead, it is actually them coming out to say that he's going for a visit. Like, we are not seeing any news. That is why I'm saying this. We are not hearing, anyway, what do we want to hear? What do you exactly want to hear? Everything that is going on is centered on 2023 election. Like, it is the most important thing. Like it is supposedly supposed to be the most important thing. And you know, this election they're talking about, I keep asking myself, where is it going to hold? The North is in crisis. When I say crisis, deep crisis. You just heard I said bandits, or when I say terrorists, invaded, like invaded our international airport in Kaduna. It is that bad. Now in the Southwest, we have full and crime. Even in the Southeast, we have full and crime. What ex I mean, crisis, what exactly is going on in Nigeria? And you know what baffles me most is in all of us. Nobody is coming out to say, take it easy. Nobody is coming out to say, let an arrest be done. Nobody is coming out to say, this is the solution. Or oh, eyes are on 2023 elections. Do you know that I sometimes, I feel like these people who are coming to, who are coming to, to presidency, who wants to, you know, who wants to be the occupant of um, Aso Villa? Sincerely, I see them as people who has no, who has no interest, good interest of the good people of Nigeria or Nigeria as a country at heart. Because if you ask me, I meet everything happening. We are not hearing. We are only hearing APC did this, PDP did that. Candidate for so and so in APC, this particular candidate in PDP. That is what you have been hearing for quite some time. And amidst all this news, all I'm saying is that. We have had people who have died, like more than 100 people. More than 200 have died. 
and the government is not coming out to say anything. Why? Because the elections are coming. And I'm asking, is it when, God forbid, everybody finishes it, is it when, you know, people are no longer available, like they go to a particular state and will have less than 200 people, is that when they're going to react? Is that when they're going to swing into action? Well, it's not part of the news, but I just decided to ask this question. 20 to the free. Hmm, Baba enters Baba Yabo. A shocker for many across party lines to follow. I belong to every party. I belong to no party. Exactly. I belong to every party. I belong to no party as well. Without exception, the Sibanjo ambition is a nightmare to almost all presidential aspirants in 20 to the free general election. That is who Nigeria really is. He's less political. Hmm. Well, I'm forced to say this. Osibanjo, ah, um, people are not trying to get off the fact that he is actually part of this, part of this administration that has failed Nigerians. That is the only problem Osibanjo is having. It's like you saying a snake cannot, like in, an apple cannot fall far from the tree. That is just it. If not, Osibanjo, 